It is a pleasure, it is a privilege to interact as we learn from the Word of God because it is the manual that God has given to us as human beings 
uh, we cannot do without this manual. By the way, uh, nothing will replace this manual. By the way, it is what is important to us. We are where no define with this manual. We do well when we are listening to the word of God, especially when we are living. Because we are human beings and the times we fall. Therefore, we cannot then say we are confident to get into the word of God unless God is leading us into what he wants us to know. So I invite you uh, for a word of prayer as we invite the presence of God in this place. We understand we are 100% human. And because we are 100% human, sin is not far away from us. Therefore, Lord, now that we are coming into the word of God, your Bible, to give us instructions as far as our families are concerned. Amen. Genesis chapter 2. I, 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 I read from verse 1. I somehow uh, love the book of Genesis as far as families are concerned because this is where we find uh, the beginning uh, this is where it's coming from. This is the labor room. So I love what I, I find as far as families are concerned. Genesis chapter 2, Mukaverenga from verse number 18. Ha. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. Uh, verse, 20, verse 21, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs, closed up the flesh, instead thereof, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a, a woman, and brought her to, uh, to the man. And, and this is where we hear uh, Adam, Achiroto Moka, writing his, uh, or say, rather saying his first poem, trying to express gratitude over the woman that was brought, was, was brought to him. I want us to learn something here. It was the idea of God, not the idea of Adam to have a wife. It was the idea of God. And because it was the idea of God, I will then prepare and make him a help meet for him. As God was preparing, God was looking into Adam. Adam the wiring and the system. Into this creation that I made in Adam. I, I need to create an Eve. Obamuwaya accordingly could I a perfect mate. And Adam Pachimuka, this is why we read further on could Adam Akanat Jirinani kuto fana Eve than to continue being alive alone, even if Akakanganisa. That love in itself, because there was that connection. Let me tell you something on Omari. I want to underline a point. We need to sit on and we are done. It's not a mistake that you are with the person that you are with. God understands the wirings. God understands the fabric that made you. God understands how you think you're reasoning. God understands who you are. And God gave you someone and that someone, but because of lust, because of trying to be clever and to think better than God, we assume what God did was not good for you. You seem, you always see the negatives. I want to tell you something, my brothers and my sisters. Start seeing what is positive. Start praying for that which God saw in that person such that you can be with that person. For unto everyone, a size in Ophita was created for us. 
It's not a mistake that you were even born into that family. You could have been born into a family next door. You could have been born not an African, but a European. You could have been born not a European, but an Asian. God saw it fit that you are what you are. You speak in that language. You are what you are. As tall and short, as stout as you are, with that complexion, God saw it fit in that family. Many people, they don't want to identify with their families. Many people, they feel ashamed. Many people, they feel like they're misfits in the families that they come from. They want to stand aloof, stand away from their families. They want to be happier out there than happier within. We need to create happiness within. Why? Because God saw it fit that I should belong here. You know, this other day I was, I was talking to my wife. We were talking and actually I was making a joke with her and I was saying, you know what? This is a program. Maybe I would not have met you. Maybe you were not supposed to be married now. Or maybe I was going to marry someone or you're going to marry. And she told me something and she said, you know what? Even if I'm just not going to or whatever, where God knew that we were supposed to be together. So even if we were supposed to meet there. Let me tell you, Omar, it's about time. We should reconstruct our thinking, reshape our thinking. We are with the people we are, not by our design, not by our making, not or not being positioned or being in a place on the right full time. Not even anything accounts to that. Everything has to do with God. No wonder why Warvakararisa Adam could not create Eve. Because if Adam Dangakasunura, it was going to be a problem. I tell my designs, I tell my Pamunu, Zan, Funga, no, she right. God had to say, You need to sleep, and I will do something whilst you're sleeping. Something good for you. God created everyone in that family perfectly for that family. He created you to fit in that family. You have a role to play. You have a purpose to play. You are not there, but you are there. You are not there to be served, but you are there to serve. You are not there. You are the solution to the challenges in that family. You are the joy maker in that family. God created you, positioned you, brought you together with someone, and God gave you children, God gave you parents who are exactly like that. Stop comparing your family members to the family members next door. Stop comparing your wife to the wife next door. Stop comparing your husband to the husband next door. This is what has brought chaos in our world. People are not satisfied. People are not content. People are busy comparing and wanting things away from them. Ah, Enjoy what you have. Enjoy the company of the people gave you as a family. If you don't do that, you will live a miserable life. You will live a life which has no satisfaction in it. A life of wanting more and still not getting satisfied. Be with your wife. Be with your husband. Be with your children. Be with your parents. Kunyanga akamema nofo. Kunyanga makasa very successful. As children next door, these are your children. Let them be what they are. Enjoy their company. Even if your parents may not have adjectives before their names, doctor so-and-so, professor so-and-so, so-and-so, it's okay. You don't need adjectives before the name so that you can enjoy your life. Ah. Uh-uh. Life has nothing to do with a paper. Re-education zero. It has all to do with you. With or without uh, resources, materials, whatever you call it. 
You are a perfect match because when God, after creating Adam and Eve, the Bible says, he said, this is good. And who are we? To continue seeing faults. I put them wrong, Mary. Which caranga no to catch a kamakudo mugumu no mawana. The more you dwell on negatives, your energy levels will always be affected. Because you can never find any perfection in a human being because we are all fallen. Someone is busy tolerating you. Someone is busy tolerating how you speak. And someone is tolerating you. And someone, someone is tolerating you. Why? It's not because they are forced. Because you are a perfect match. You are a jail. You can't do without the other. The secret is I'm about to close. To enjoy your life. It is to accept. This is who I am. These are the people I have. This is my wife. This is my husband. These are my children. These are my parents. Successful or not successful. These are the people. What? This is your prayer now. This is your prayer now. Lord, help me to know why you brought me into this family. Why you brought this wife to me. Why? Am I with this husband? Why our children? Why our parents? What am I supposed to do to make things to move, to tick, such that we can be also an envy of those who are next in door? May God bless you and keep you safe until we meet again. May God bless you. Mm -hmm.